Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to recap the 2024 NHL Stanley Cup playoff matchup between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Florida Panthers. So we'll hop right into it today, starting with the games between these two teams. Of course, starting with game one and this one, it was sort of a tone setter. When we look at it, you know, game one, both teams are looking to really set the tone for the series. And what does that mean for both these teams? going to be a physical sort of brute force kind of series. The talent sort of takes that back step and what really comes through is that physicality and that's what this series really was from start to finish. You know, good goaltending, good defense, commitment to defensive structure and at the end of the day, a really tight checking series through and through. This one, sort of the, sort of the key notes from this one was the goalie show. Both goalies stood on their heads and that's sort of a common theme throughout this series. Bobrovsky and Vasilevsky, both goalies really fighting for the, for the spotlight in this one and really back and forth effort. Both teams you know, sort of had their moments that they really had that momentum with them. We talked about it in the preview. The key for Florida and Tampa really was who was going to have the momentum in the right times and who was going to capitalize on it. This series, Florida really took that advantage and, and really took it forward. But we'll talk about that in just a little bit uh, as well. Tight checking, we talked about it. Sort of that key key aspect of what this series was. It was the tight checking series. Both teams had wanted to play a physical style. There was a suppressed offense for the most part a lot of perimeter shots which is what the both these teams do so well and the last one is too little too late for the for the Tampa Bay Lightning here they went up to nothing 2-2 two, two, and then sorry 3-2 and then long sure enough they couldn't quite get it done so with that being said it was basically a it was one of those things where it was a 2-1 two, two, game 3-1 with the empty net and then they tried to sort of get one right at the end but the bad penalty sort of cost uh, Florida a little bit in this one not enough for them to lose this game but just enough for this game to be nice and close so game two now would take a look at it with a 3-2 overtime victory for the Florida Panthers Bo Brilliance was this one was Bob Brilliance however you want to say with Bobrovsky standing on his head probably the save of the year probably the save of the playoffs at least in the last couple we haven't really seen that kind of save in a long time and he really sort of took Florida to that next level in this series likely sort of changed the momentum let Florida go into Tampa with two up 2-0 with the, sort of the ball in their court it was really interesting to see sort of how Florida took advantage of that that key save at the right time with Tampa pressing and the momentum from there sort of swung back into Florida's favor. So that being said, the Bob Brilliant, Bob Brilliant, however you want to say it, was outstanding. And this one, as well as Vasilevsky, was really good in this game too. Not to take away from him, but that Bobrovsky save was off the chart. Second one here was down and not out. Once again, Tampa coming back. Just unfortunately too little, too late. Not enough to be able to beat the big bad Florida Panthers. And the last one was for Hagee Magic, the, the game winner with 3-2. to two. Overtime was your final for game two. Game three now is a 5-3 to three victory for the Florida Panthers. This was the first game in Tampa. Obviously the Battle of Florida doesn't really have that key key home ice advantage that you might be thinking. Sure you have the last change, but at the end of the day it's that sort of regional that you're looking for. Both teams travel decently well. I wouldn't say any team really has that preferred edge. But at the end of the day, both teams are nice and close. So that being said, you know, key sort of for this one was the momentum swings. You know, we saw it where Tampa went up and then Florida went right back at them. And then Tampa came back and then Florida went right back at them. It was this up and down roller coaster that we talked about in the preview of this video. If you haven't already, be sure to check it out. Link can be found in the description below. But it was sort of the keys to success for both teams was who can manage the momentum the best? Florida is a team that when they get going, they get going hard until you stop them and then they're just sort of on their heels. If you can suppress them early, that's going to be the keys to success in the next round series. But we'll preview that series in just a little bit in the next sort of video. So be sure to like, subscribe and all that. As well, the power play woes in this one caught Tampa. Times four, four times, you know, Tampa was unable to score and in this one you know it sort of showed you know they had momentum when they needed to just couldn't quite get the job done the last one was the Kachuk factor two goals in this one he was really the key to success for the Florida Panthers in this one playing that chippy style that they're looking for trying to get under Tampa's skin and it really worked in this game you sort of saw it come through a little bit more last one or certain not the last one but game four here six to three victory for the Tampa Bay Lightning and this one was sort of the desperation factor for Tampa we saw it time and time again, you know, just seemed to kick it up that little extra notch. Didn't want to get swept, didn't want to get swept on home ice, especially. So when we look at it in that sense, big win for the, for the Tampa Bay Lightning. 
as well as the tale of three. The three periods tends to be a lot in this series. What we saw is, you know, Tampa got off early in the first, sort of played really solid, and then Florida picked it up in the second, and then finally just sort of holding on for the Florida Panthers. Tampa picked it back up in the third. So be curious to see in the, as we move along to the future series is whether that continues for the Florida Panthers or whether they can get a full 60 minutes. That might be a key to success for them as well was the firing squad. This one we really saw. Tampa sort of gave up on their trying to be super perfect. They said, we're going to get shots on net in this one. And sure enough, they did, finding the back of the net six times. And last the year was game five. The most recent game, six to one, was your final. This one was the conclusion of it with Florida winning 6-1. to one. So when we look at it, the Tampa Bay Lightning were struck down by the Florida Panthers. So, you know, tough game for tough game for the Lightning, especially as that veteran core starts to age out. We saw Stamkos sort of at the end of this game, you know, looking around, taking in those surroundings. Could be the last time we see him in a Tampa Bay Lightning uniform, as well, the dagger. When we look at it, that key call with that goaltender interference challenge right at the end, you know, it was one of those where I even said it to myself. I was thinking, you know, this is probably going to determine the game. Whatever which way this game gets called, we've seen it time and time again. The momentum in this game swings depending on certain calls. And sure enough, from there on in, Tampa didn't get their way. They took the two-minute penalty, and Florida just took the game from there. Never really had a shot for Tampa to come back. So with that being said, you know that was sort of the dagger in this one. And the last part here as we take a look at it is we want... Who's it going to be for the Florida Panthers? Who would you rather remember? Last year, they beat both these teams, both Boston and Toronto. Those are the teams you have to take note of. Who might it be this year? Or do they want them really? I mean, Boston's looked terrible at times, but really good. Toronto's looked really good and really bad. So we'll be curious to see which team shows up and which team Florida's going to play. Because at the end of the day, let me know who you think down in the comments Florida would want to play. But when we look at it, that series is just such a good series. It's going to be hard to tell. Next, we'll move it along here to the X factors of the series. We sort of brought this through in our preview. So first one was, of course, Matthew Kachuk, and he was outstanding in this series. Three goals, six assists, two penalties, and plus four rating. We look at him, he really took it to the next next notch in this series, which is exactly what he needed to do. So as Nick Cousins, sort of the second player, he was a little bit quieter than I thought he would have been. And, you know, you know he's sort of the guy that's going to not necessarily score um, – end up on the score sheet is what he's doing but he didn't really seem to be his normal self could be something to take note of in this one as well Sergei Bobrovsky absolutely incredible I normally don't pick the goaltenders but for him you know I had to make the exception because at the end of the day for the Florida Panthers if he is hot which he was the stats don't really speak for themselves you know 896 save percentage 2.78 goals against and really all of those goals came in that in that sort of game four where the Tampa Bay Lightning put in six goals so you know, that was sort of a throwaway game for them. Don't necessarily keep take too much of a note of the stats there. Bobrovsky stood on his head and really led Florida to victory in this one. As well for the Tampa Bay Lightning, I was looking at a guy like Eric Cernak, who was going to take that next role. Zero goals, one assist, two penalty minutes, plus zero. You know, wasn't quite to what he was hoping for. It's an unfortunate result for him and the Tampa Bay Lightning. As well as a guy like Nikita Kucherov. We look at it, you know, he was sort of that star player coming in. Was he going to be able to sort of lead his team to victory in this one? Seven assists, no goals, two penalties, minus one. So a tough, another tough series for him. And we look at it, you know, he was a player I was really looking towards to take that next step, help his team to victory. He was a player who was really hot coming down the stretch. Fortunately, couldn't quite translate it into the success for the Tampa Bay Lightning in this series. And the last one here, but he did have a good series for Kucherov. I'll preface that. He still had a good series, just not to the level that he was in the regular season. And the last one here was Tanner Janot. Zero goals, one assist, two penalty minutes, and a minus two. And also, key key to note here, he was a healthy scratch. And, you know, when we look at it, he was a player coming in. You know, he was a big-time trade deadline acquisition. And, you know lots of picks to acquire them and what was he going to do and all these key key things what was going to happen with Tanner Janot what what was he going to be in the playoffs and you know pretty terrible frankly um read the stats it's it's just one of those series that he probably wants to get back he was a you know sort of cold through that regular season I was looking for him to really pick it up in the playoffs he didn't. That was the end result for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So we'll flip it over here now to the preview. And what we sort of predicted was Florida in six. What really happened, Florida in five. Close enough for we look at the total predictions. 
Both my predictions so far are correct. You pick, predict the New York Rangers one. You have the full sort of series recap uh, yesterday. So be sure to check that out. Link can also be found in the description below. And we'll see if we continue our success here as we take a look now at the playoff picture. And we look at Florida will end up playing the winner of Boston and Toronto. So as you sort of touched on, you know, it's it's a tough matchup to really sort of pick who you want. The Leafs have been streaky. The Leafs have had injuries. You know, which Leaf team would show up in that series? As well, the Boston Bruins, always a tough matchup. Really good commitment to their systems. But we'll have a full series preview once, that's, once that Toronto-Boston series concludes. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like to start subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on the Florida Panthers for Tampa Bay Lightning. Until next time, see you.